Hello, Buzzacos! My name is Halsey and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Where last time we built this little setup to fulfill our power needs. We brought the oxygen production up. Uh, we are still struggling a bit with uh, this, this lower part because we are pumping stuff out here that does not belong here. We only want to pump chlorine gas out there, but as we are not consuming enough oxygen on top, that basically pushes down the oxygen gas down below, uh, so that on this level we have oxygen that we would pump out instead of, of chlorine. So instead I decided let's have a gas element sensor instead of uh, atmosphere sensor uh, so that we detect if we have and on closer consideration maybe we should have that one down there on the same level where we are actually pumping the gas. So that's going on and all most managed it. So unbreathable gas, chlorine gas. Um, while that was going on, I was also digging in various directions to see what do we have out here that could help us. Because one thing that I fear is that currently the oxygen we get out is at around 20 degrees. But I would assume at some point that will no longer uh, be true and we have to find a way to cool things down. So looking around uh, to see if we can find something that could help us in that direction, we came across a cold biome on this side and another cold biome on this side. And this opens up possibilities. We could set up something with the, the Wies Ward. That would definitely work. Um, but we, we still need to, to get in there. And maybe, maybe we have a, a machine in here that could help us with the cooling, at least the cooling that we need for oxygen. Uh, we will need a proper setup for cooling uh, other things. That's a bit more complicated, um, but having such a simple cooling set up for uh, the oxygen, uh, that would go a long way. Um, at least at this stage of the game. So let's take more shovel eggs. And I also considered that maybe let's have a planter in there for a tree. And yeah, I think I will dig out a bit more to actually see what we have in those cold biomes um, uh, in order to decide do we go with the Wee's Wards, do we have other options and then we should be able to see uh, how to, to progress, how to make that happen. Um, well, we went down here a bit, um, 
I think we are not yet all the way done. Um, maybe we could go down further. Let's go down here. And then go this way and through to that. And I have discounted the idea of using this leaky oil fissure here because they are not that efficient in producing oil but if we cannot find another source of oil uh, easily accessible maybe it's not such a bad idea at least to get a bit of early game plastic going so we can have things like high pressure um, vents or uh, uh, steam turbines but we will see how that goes let's see first what we have in those cold biomes i did a bit more exploring and came across a few interesting things here and there down here we have the anti-entropy thermo nullifier which is really useful however for it to run we need hydrogen and it's a bit out of the way right next to it we have an iron volcano which is the best metal volcano because uh, you can use of course iron but if you need steel you also need iron so that's good as well then i think down here we have some water geyser and here on this side we have something uh, that we don't know yet with another water geyser here so i'm thinking maybe let's find out what's in here because we have if we have an uh, auto uh, aqua thermo nullifier thingy in here which i do doubt however because the the room does not look that big no it's a brainy thing so in that case i think instead of uh pumping the oxygen down there to cool it and then back up we will use the wheeze warts um, and if we look at uh, wheeze warts they cool things uh, but they also require phosphorite so eventually we will need um, a form for phosphorite and we can do that with directlets so that's then probably uh, something that's next on a line so let's have a floor in here and then figure out how to lay out this form um, usually i have it staggered a bit and then Actually, we want to have radiated pipes. 
Um, and we shall have the roof there. I think we will do it slightly different because in here we want to have an, um, an oxygen atmosphere and an hydrogen atmosphere for optimal cooling. So in order to basically have that and and have optimal or good cooling conditions. Um, we probably want to be able to supply the farm tiles from underneath. So that we then can have room this way, dig this out and have a, a went here. Um, and then basically come in here with the pipe and go out here and then let's do a bit of research. Uh, for that uh, radiant pipe. Let's do all of those. And I think we shall have the hydrogen gas from up here. We don't need it here can pump it in there of course this will also require a pipe um, but that pipe should be the other way around take it from here and we will see how how that goes and phosphorite we do have a bit here in this area so actually let's stick over there and see what we have in there yeah we'll take those we don't have any here on this side also explored a bit ooh salt water geyser salt water but that's not cold slush so the the water the salt water there that comes out is a bit on the warm side but not to worry too much and eventually we will do something with this down here but let's 
first figure this thing out here and probably we want to have uh, a setup where maybe let's not build this one yet because once we pump in the hydrogen that will push down the other gases to this lower part and that way we can basically fill in um, the, the gas as, as we need it in here and then place the uh, the missing the missing um, farm tunnels there and complete the, the whole setup. All right, I think uh, once again it's just time to let the duplicates do their work. As you can see, we have a working cooling setup and uh, it appears that the supplying from here below works as well. So we do have gas, oxygen that comes in at 20 degrees and leaves at barely above zero. So maybe um the oxygen is even cooled too much but then we are not consuming that much so i would assume that uh, once we have uh, a faster flow through here uh, we would have less cooling uh, and we would get an agreeable temperature back here even here we are already up to uh, 15 degrees. That's because basically this part is not insulated. Uh, so the gas heats up. But I think we did a good job with the cooling setup. And the next thing is probably have a more sustainable source of phosphorite for the resorts in here uh, and that is definitely a project for another episode not sure if it will be the next one because we also have to do something about the moral of our duplicates because basically they are not very happy they have lots of skill points that I cannot uh, use because of their morals. So we will have to see about that as well. Uh, let's take a bit of food. Um, food is fluctuating a bit, but uh, I think we have a steady supply for our four duplicates that we have. So we should be good on that front. And with that, I say goodbye for today and hope you join me next time when we will tackle another project. Until then, goodbye!